Yo, what's up? So, um, this is MP Beats. If you don't know, if you are if you are new here, please click on the subscribe button and subscribe and drop a like and you know drop like this video and you know just share and leave some good positive comments. So today I'm going to be making a, a recross type beat and the classical type song so i've already loaded my instruments and the drums and all those stuff so i have these vocals these vocal runs and i'm going to build a beat around the vocal run so i'll be uh, and this these are like uh, factory uh, presets and plugins and all those stuff so I'll be making them with I'll be making this particular bit with uh, uh, presets like there 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 stock plugins yeah stock plugins so let me start with the piano so the the vocal I'm about to work with is in C minor so I'll go to the first piano and search for go to the helpers skill high lightning and it's already on minor skill minor natural skill so i'll just click on c then it will give me the the key the the you know the the keys in which i should i should be making the beat with so let me just start with it the tempo on 80 it, it might vary i might change it i might not change it i might leave it like that or something but let me just remember i'm not editing this tutorial so everything is just raw just like that how i make beats how the process in which i pass through before making my beats so this let's let's listen to how the piano sounds okay So I like the way that one sounds, so I'll just drag it and let it fill this side. speed up the tempo a little bit maybe 90 yeah 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 it's cool it's cool it's cool so let me just copy it and extend it to the next bar so I'll copy this piano and paste it in the other in the second piano then I will raise this one to a higher octave. So let me just raise it here. Uh, let me raise it again. So let me play it with the first one. Okay, so so this one, what I'll do is. I'll add a little, I'll add, I'll add a, like a melody to it or I'll just click in notes to see if it sounds good. So let me delete this one and put this one back there. Okay, so 
I'll copy the same chord progression and put it on the root. Okay, so it's not root, so let me change it to the root. So this one, I wouldn't strum it, so I'll just keep it that way. Or maybe I might even change this one and turn it into a part to give it an atmosphere. I don't know how the beat will end up, so you let me just be building it and let's see where it's, it takes us. So, so I found this e piano. It, it I don't know. It doesn't sound like e piano, but I found it in uh, Citrus. So let me just make a like an um, a riffs uh, uh, an EP riffs. Let me see how it sounds. So let me get an, uh, a distant uh, a string. side right to the beginning of the beat so let's, let's see how it sounds Okay, so what I'll do for the string is I'll uh, I'll turn on the glide um, this thing the glide uh, effect. Let me see how it sounds. Okay, let me take it up an octave. Let me 
see if it sounds good on it. try with the vocals to see if it sounds okay on the vocals so you let me let me just let me just do that let me see how it sounds with the vocals damn i hope it sounds good because the chord progressions are are lit man eh? Perfect. It sounds good. So let me just um, start with the this thing, the um, the hats. So what I'll do is I'll go with the hat. This, the other, this. One, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. Yeah. So. Increase the, the the tempo again to ninety two because it sounds slow for me. Man, this E piano it doesn't sound. It doesn't, I'm not feeling it. So let me just send it up uh, up an octave. And maybe I'll put a gross beat on it to give it another feel. give it like a live uh, you know live feel and i don't know how to say it but i just want to give it like a live drum feel but not 
I'm not going to use the live drums actually I'm going to use the trap trap tra uh, trap drums I want to give the patterns the groove uh, you know live groove <music> effect let me hear how it sounds on it Sounds and stuff with the kick. Let me see how how I want it. How I want to how I want the kick to go. I just want to you know let it groove. Send it to the um, the piano roll. Let me just send all to the piano roll. So this might take some time. Let me just be playing the melodies while I do that. Putting them into the this time, the piano roll. So what I'll do now is, so I'm going to be mixing my the beat. I'm going to be mixing the beat. So what I do is, I just put all these knobs to 50 percent, 50 percent, 50 percent. So the last time I did the tutorial, the, the I increased all the volumes. The reason why I did that was I don't use sound card. I'm not using sound card to boost my headphones this thing uh, volume so normally what i do is i just boost the volume on in the pc to give it loud volume so someone was complaining about the volume being loud and all over the place so 
normally when I'm mixing what I do is I put all these knobs at 50% you know then I send them into the mixer channel then I lower everything I lower everything on the channel on, on the mixer channels then I'll start raising them one by one you know so let me let me unmute all the this thing and so um, I'll be let me split channels So I'm walking you through the process I go through before like making my beats, arranging them, mixing it. I normally don't make beats in uh, Fruity Loops 20. I make beats in Fruity Loops um, 10. So I'm just trying my best to understand Fruity Loops 20. It's not all that difficult, but I'm just not comfortable with it. So. The reason why I'm even doing this tutorial is because in, in Fruity Loops 20 is because most of the guys out there use um, um, Fruity Loops 20. So if I'm using 12, it will be some way. So this is how I do my mixing. I don't know about you, but this is how I do it and it works for me perfectly. So normally I just do mixing in Fruity Loops 20, then I send it back to Adobe Audition 3 for mastering. Understand? So if if this like if this tutorial the mixing doesn't sound good to you it doesn't mean i'm i'm work at mixing you just check out some of my beats and you can be the judge judge from there no don't judge from this tutorial so let me start so normally what i start with when i'm mixing is the bass from the bass then i go to the kick the snare the hi-hats and the drums so most mainly I start with the drums. The drums is the drums are what I start with. The drums and the bass. So let me just shut up and start. So the reason why I'm um, dragging the attack is. I want that space to be there so that I can put the kick there. You understand? If it was 808, I would just do that on the uh, on the something like this. I'll just go here and just do it here on the envelope. So uh, since the base isn't the base, uh, the uh, DST doesn't allow you to do it that way. I just use the footy limiter to do it. Let me EQ. My machine is, is about to start cracking, so let me just mute the instruments. a reverb on this hi hat
this open heart i'll um i'll put stereo and house on it and spread it across bit of delay on this snare let me see how it, it, it will sound okay, let me see how it sounds with a bit okay, I like the way it's sounding Effect, I'll put a reverb on it, a heavy reverb on it. So, I'm not feeling it, so hear me. Damn, I didn't, I didn't make a melody, I didn't do a melody on the lead, but. Let's just be going. Maybe I might put it inside. So let me um, let me start with the pianos. It's all about how you want to make the sound feel. You, you understand? So I'm doing is I'm doing the mixing based on what I feel I want the mix to sound like. put a, a low fi effect on so this one I said I will put um, a, a a gross beat on it so let me just put it on it and see how it sounds maybe i will put a reverse gross beat on it or a half step or something damn that sounded good <laughs> so let me let me just maintain that one So let me just delete it. Already the the plugins I've loaded are dragging my CPU. So let me just delete it. Then I will use the um, the strings for the hook. Then maybe I'll use the this thing to the vocal runs for and join it to the hook.
that's it. That's it. That's how to make a recross tie beat. Or oh, let me just arrange them. Let me just arrange it. Time. Let me just walk you through the process in which I go through before arranging my beats. So I normally check the time one minute twenty seconds. So normally the verse is. It's a, it's a, the, the verse starts from zero then goes to one minute a rapper can only rap up to one minute or something so I, I normally put mine at one minute or 59 seconds or 50 seconds so let me name them intro then the verse will start here so the verse is 16 bars then with the hook so the hook will be eight bars. Yeah, that's it. That's it. So, so let me let me just okay. okay let me bring the. Base So this is how the beat will start. some spots that I chop off and just you see you see you see how it falls in so let me cut this place off leading to the hook so I'll minimize this the hat snare I'll take this one off so it's all about try and error try and error then so i'm done with the with the this thing um with the arrangement Let, let's see how it sounds so this arrangement is one verse and a hook an intro one verse and a hook so let's see how it sounds how to make a recross type beat a recross classical type beat you know and i did all that with um this um this uh, stock plugins you understand 
so the beat might probably sound better if i used you know this external plugins and stuff but if i had to waste time on it and you know mix everything and do everything perfectly it will sound way better than this one so this is just how i go to making a uh, cross type beat so thank you all for watching and please subscribe share the share this video drop a like and you know comment and all those stuff but don't comment negative comments so see you next time any tutorial you want me to do just drop it in the comment section and i'll get to it you know so see you all later